To another Minecraft story mode video where today we are on episode four, part two. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm loving this story mode, and I hope you guys are too. It's it takes a long time. I understand that the episodes will be long, but don't let it get to you too hard. It's a great story, I love it. And yeah, without further ado, guys, I, I, I can't say too much. If you guys are enjoying it, please leave it a like down below, guys. It'd be greatly appreciated. But with that being said, let's go, let's go enjoy this amazing story. Mwah. Man, I can't believe how obsessed those people were with that Fred guy. So weird, right? I mean, were they really that different from you with Jesse? I, what? No, it, I, I am a stone cold professional. My interest in Jesse was completely professional. Uh-huh, uh-huh, sure. It was. Don't be so sensitive, Radar. Petra's just teasing you. Oh, right, I, I forgot know, I had that I know, clothes. just That's a really little cool. too real. Sorry, Radar. I, I just tease because I love. <laughs> he turns around like, really? What's up? So, uh, what's the compass saying? We still heading the right way? Hang on, let me check. Seems like we're still on. Cracks out. Everybody brace yourselves. Ugh. Ugh. Oof. Uh, rough ride. Man, the track is a complete wreck. Yeah! What's up with you? Uh -oh. What the? I have to fight this guy? Oh, heck no! Oh, I wasn't prepared for this. Oh, Bree. Get down! Whoa! Alright, who's this? He's trying to fight me, bro? Got more potions. God. Smoke. All oh, this boys run. Oh, oh. This boy comes out of nowhere. This boy's like a ninja. Oh yeah. Let's go, boy. Get him. Get him. Oh. Yeah. Oh, there we go. That's a gun. Oh. Hey. What you trying, boy? Use the other feet. Knee. Oh, there you go. There's a check. <sighs> yes. Only one person I know fights like that. What? You are the real Jesse. Ivor? <clears throat> yes. Oh my I, god. Your friend Ivor. I'm a ninja now, Jesse. What? Yeah, what? It all started when I fell through a portal into some sort of strange world. Everything was all white. Master Shadow's domain. He claimed he was a ninja master, a practitioner of the shadow arts. Ivor! At first, I wanted nothing to do with him. He was a very suspicious character. But eventually, after a lot of uncomfortable eye contact, he asked me, me, to be his pupil. Nice. <laughs> uh, you see? Ninja reflexes. Okay. Wait, you tried to hit me. Ivor's here. Why'd so you try to hit me? That would have been quite painful. Wow. Master Shadow teach you how to whine too? No. And rude. It seemed like the only way to get you to stop talking. No. Ah, uh, yes. I'm so sorry. You, te you tend to talk a it's lot. It's just so someone. exciting to see you. And there's so much to say. How about you start with what the heck you're doing down here? Uh, right. Let me explain. You see, it all started when Harper and I returned from our vacation. We discovered that while we were gone, you had mysteriously vanished after fighting a prismarine giant named the Admin. Uh, right. Only to return, having defeated this Admin and taken his amazing powers. Wait, what? Yeah, that's not right. I mean, you didn't believe it, right? I did it first. How could I not? Looked like you, sounded like you, except now you could fly around and had all sorts of cool superpowers. Jesse, AKA the admin, 
gave me this and told me he had reprogrammed it to find the fraud, a.k.a. you. But with my new ninja senses, <clears throat> I could tell something wasn't right. Anyone who disagrees, anyone who questions Jesse, disappears. Oh, they must hate me. It's certainly not helping your reputation. No, but I knew that Jesse, the real Jesse, would never act like that. That's why I decided to try and use this opportunity to discover the truth. Okay. Luckily, it worked out because I would have felt terrible about killing you. Classic be the first thing time. to say to your friends. I can tell you're being sarcastic, but you'd be surprised. Hmm. Yeah. Ivor, even coming from you, that is one dumb plan. Yep. Oh, give me a break, would you? The admin has made everything very confusing. I'm a desperate man. Speaking of whom, I can't spend much more time down here. Okay. If I don't get back to the prison soon and report in, the admin will know that something isn't right. That's perfect. You can make up a lie and you'll never suspect that I'm actually down Which here. will buy you the time you need to find Fred's weapon. Hold on! How'd you know about I'm that? I'm a ninja. Anyway, that plan is all ninja. well and good. But what exactly should I tell the admin? It needs to be plausible, but dramatic. Yeah, believable, but entertaining. Realistic, but shocking. Within the realm of possibility, but against all odds. Tell him I died trying to flee the Sunshine Institute. Fluff up his ego. Let him think that he built an inescapable prison. Huh. Oh, yes. A fed ego is a happy ego after all. I mean, it works. I'm sorry I can't stay longer, but I must go. I don't know. Go. Do we'll see you when we get back to the surface. No, oh, wait. Can I borrow that amulet? Certainly, but why? Long story involving a portal and a magic frame, but it'll help us get home. Please hurry. It's getting dire up there. Smoke bomb! <laughs> You saw nothing. <laughs> you can do baffles, you can do flip. This boy is a ninja. We all just saw that, right? I, I didn't like hallucinate ninja Ivor. Nah. -uh. Just when I thought that crusty dude couldn't get any weirder. And we're ready to roll. Come on, guys. Whoa. Cool. <sighs> Looks like the compass is pointing right to that building. Oh, good. It only sounds like there are a few thousand big scary people between us and there. Alt! You there! What business have you? I, uh, think we need to go into that building behind you. If that's okay. Uh, you know, it is, in fact, not okay, okay? Now just move along. Don't go anywhere near the building, or we will sick our army on you. Or we'll sick our army on you. We don't want to unleash the force of our army. And it's a mighty army. Mightiest army I hmm. know. Yes, we've heard amazing things about your army. Because <laughs> we're the... New recruits. But Jesse, we're not going to... Well, that's great. We should let him in. Because we really don't have Shut a... Shut it! <clears throat> we doubt your claims. <laughs> See this? This is my dowdy face. Hey, army! Okay, then. You too, Jeff. Let's take these invaders out! Uh-oh. Uh, that's weird. It's not weird. The army just... just... Uh, took a power nap. Now they're stronger than ever. Yeah. Are these like no blocks? <laughs> Thanks to their nap. Yeah. We're not gonna ask you again, all right? You just skedaddle before no our well-rested army makes you regret it. They're gearing up. Yeah, it's the biggest army you've ever heard, right here. Nothing is scarier about an army than it sounds. Well, yeah. I'm ready. Bring out your army. I'm happy to take them on. Oh, oh, 
And they're happy to take you on, uh-huh. But, uh, they're still getting ready, and it's gonna be a while. And you'll just get bored waiting, so you should probably just leave. <sighs> All right, we... we don't have an army. Exactly. Mm, yeah, okay. I know, but, uh, still can't let you in. Sorry. Really, it's for your own good. That building you're pointing at? That's Romeo's challenge. Yeah, it's nothing more than a death trap. The worst kind of trap. Which is why we vowed to keep everyone out. Even relentless travelers like you. I mean, you what? should thank us for keeping you away from it, okay? We're doing you a solid. Yeah, duh. Thank you, Val and Sue, for doing us a solid. I escaped Romeo's highest security prison, the Sunshine Institute. I think I can handle some little challenge. Bring it on. Whoa, that's hardcore. Whoa, yeah. Anyone who escaped that place? Mad props. Open the gate! On it! No, Soup, the, the gate. Yeah, the, the real gate. Right! On it! <laughs> Okay, look at that. No one's here. Whoa, Under where's Lama? Lama? She must smell Luna on you. I like the Lama. I like Lamas. Was I sniffing the Lama? Oh god. That's a bit weird. This place is a wasteland. Yeah, uh, having a town where everyone enters a mysterious challenge room that never comes out will do that. I, uh, <coughs> suppose that, uh, might affect population levels a little. Uh, we still don't feel good about permitting How you in a challenge room. Exactly? Especially unarmed. But we'll trade you some gear if you can build something to scare off future unwanted visitors. <gasps> Ooh, I can put you know, gear. like a snowman. Or a huge flower. You know what? Just a snowman would be great. Make something that will help us strike fear into the hearts of all who would see it. Keep people off our backs. Something to give us a little me time. Scary, huh? I don't want to spend too much time making a dirty face. I do like the whole snowman idea. Let me see if I can make a snowman. They wanted a snowman. They said a snowman, but with the materials I have. Don't work too well, but let's see if we can make this work. Oh, oh I don't have a lot. Uh, let's see if I can manage to pull this one off. Okay. Okay, I can build better than that. Uh, oh, I can go up here. Okay, that's good. Uh, out? Are you serious? I am. Let's go with. I am really disappointed in myself, buddy. You gave me nothing to work with. Okay, you know what? This is gonna turn into like a. Oh, I don't know why I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> this is not gonna work. What? Okay. Yeah, this, that's gonna, that, this, this is gonna scare people. Yep. Mm-hmm. I don't know what else to do. This looks so stupid! Come on. It looks like a mouse! Oh, God. Uh. Actually, you know what? A mouse would not be. All that bad. There you go. Oh, look at that. Mm. So good. And oh wait, wait, wait. He, he needs a tail. He needs a tail. Ah. Uh. Yeah. Oh wow. That will give me nightmares. <laughs> well will done. Will it now? <laughs> yes. Wonderfully horrifying. Thank you. I put I put my heart and effort to it. It looks good though. Looks like a looks like a little 
robot. Hello. Organized? Not alphabetized? Not even sorted by material? This is barbaric! This is what we managed to salvage mm. from the goofballs. Uh, I mean, residents who tried entering. Oh, God. Dang, come on. There's so much good, cool gear. There's so much cool gear here. I, I look. I like this. Don't one. try to eat armor. Best advice I ever heard. Really? The, oh, the tooth chipper. Oh, there's names. Poor goofballs. Cut down in their prime. Okay. The dented danger. Dangerous. But also damaged, so it's more relatable. I like this one though. Tooth chipper. Sounds like the one. Sounds like the one. Well, let's go. Let's see the bot. Oh, oh. Okay. Oh, we have to choose a weapon too. Do not give me it. That's it, boy. Boy, why you pick up a pick it? All right, he's got a diamond sword. Do you? <sighs> Good luck, oh, you poor doomed souls. Doomed souls, boy. Waterfalls upstairs. It's so calculated, so precise. Judging by the multiple pressure plates, there's some complex engineering behind these walls. Wouldn't expect anything less from the guy who made an icy palace of despair. I think this was meant for the three friends Romeo, Zara, and Fred. How do you guys feel about pulling some mystery levers and seeing what happens? Me! I'm excited. Let's go. designed all this just for his friends? Are you ready for the most thrilling, death-defying, heart-pounding challenge you've ever experienced? Spider puzzle. Ooh! Wow! What a showdown, folks! We're having the time of our lives, aren't we? Waterfall! Jesse, water turns it's lava into cobblestone. <laughs> Pickaxe's head? Oh god, what is this? Making it to stage 600. Three levers got us into this, so. So maybe those three levers will stop it. She got a point. Come let's on, go. radar. Let's bust that machine. Oh, oh Jukes. Bye bye. You gotta go. Slide in between the legs. Oh, point. 
that Radar, is pretty late. Radar, you have to break the machine. I'll cover you. On it! Oh, oh, pick it up. Let's go. What? It's lava, boy. Careful. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Both shots. Boing. Boing. Yeah. Pickaxe total dummy doesn't want anything to do with the waterfalls now, does it? I broke my pickaxe anyway, so I guess it's time for another idea. We have gunpowder. TNT. Just gotta get some sand. Of course you want to blow them up. Good thinking, radar. Radar, get ready. Fire incoming. Oh. Just need four sand blocks quickly. Give give it a sand. Only need four. Only need four. That's all we need. There we go. Bye bye. How do you make Kill TNT again? How do you make Stack TNT again? No, I feel like an idiot. Come on! Oh, no, come no, on, no, I'm no. right here! I, I, I'm gonna... Oh no, I done goofed. I done goofed. Gunpowder placed like an X. Sand on all four sides. Come on, craft, craft, craft! Huh? Over here, magma okay. face! Oh, come here. Oh, okay. Oh, he's getting close. All right, boy, boys gotta go faster. How's that TNT looking? Uh, pretty, pretty, pretty bad. Pretty bad. Go, go. I can't do this forever. Come on, be faster. Oh, oh, that's not good. That's not good. Almost done over there. Come on. Come on now. Get the TNT. Grant it, man. Let's go. We gotta go. I like this thing. That might work. Oh no. Oh, run for it. <laughs> Okay. 
that's good enough for me, son. I, I've had my fair share of golems, but that's a, that's too much for me, all right? We fought a huge flaming stone golem or magma golem or whatever the heck you like to call it. That was kind of cool. I This is what I meant by the last episode. I wanted to see some more boss fights, and this was it. I like it. I like it a lot. So, guys, if you are enjoying this uh, Minecraft story mode, please give it a big thumbs up. That would be greatly appreciated. And if you guys are new to my channel, I highly suggest you subscribe to join the Frosty Squad. Ladies and gentlemen, that's all I have for you lovely people for today. But with that being said, guys, stay frosty. Stay amazing. I'll see you lovely people. Jingle bell, 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 bell.